But I now have a wet Fitbit because Miko drools like, oh my God, so gross. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habit of a Modern Hippie. As you can see, I've got two little goobers up here on the couch, which means in unboxing. This one is BarkBox. Miko is a little excited already, but I'm just gonna rip off the tape and just get everything started. Ooh. Maybe open. Oh, I should have gotten a scissor. Are you that excited already? Get back up here. Come on. You guys are way cuter than I am. You have to be up there so everyone can see you. All right. So this is Bark versus Toxic Critters. It's time for slime. And it looks like there are some superheroes on here. And it is a little comic strip. So I'm sure that what's in here is all superheroes. Miko, you gotta get back up and sit. Sit down. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, so we'll go ahead and start opening. The first thing in here is a pork hide roll. No additives, fillers, grains, chemicals, or byproducts from Sawmill Smokehouse. Things like this I always save until I have multiples of them because we only get one bark box, but I've got two pups. So these get saved for a couple months in a row. Next, looks like our first toxic critter. This is Sensai Whiskers. And I think it's a cat. Normally, these are squirrels. But it's got crinkle paper cape, a nice fluffy tail, and I bet you there's a squeaker inside. <coughs> yep. But, uh... Squirrels have whiskers as well. This is definitely a squirrel. This is not a cat. And then in on the back side of his little cape, he's got a toxic signal that is uh, has some acorns on it, which is super cute. Anything with this crunchy paper, both of the dogs love. Next, we have some Captain Wagnifico's Super Clucks Single Source. Um, these are from the makers of BarkBox. They do their own treats now, which is pretty cool. And they're grain-free, wheat-free, corn-free, and soy-free. And as you can see, Tinkerbell is already drooling. And these ingredients are great. It's just 100% freeze-dried chicken, which is super cool. I love when things are just one ingredient. It's better for the dog's bellies. Super simple. That yummy? Oh, bro. I see. It's easy for me to sell a uh, film sitting on the ground, but I now have a wet Fitbit because Miko drools like, oh my god, so gross. All right. Ugh. Yucky. All right. Next, we have another little toxic critter. Uh, critter. This is Crab Van Goon. It looks like he's a little... Miko likes this one. Come back up here and you can see him. Um, it looks like this is one of those hermit crabs. He's got a little, like, spiky shell and little claws on there. And let's see what he has inside. Crab Van Goon is always cooking up evil. Sink your teeth into his tube squeaker belly, but be warmed. You can't ex escape the long arm of the claw. Miko, your butt is on camera. Come on. What is this? <laughs> this is one of their favorite types of squeaks. This one and the one when you shake it makes noise, but you can see Miko is loving this one. You're being so good over here, Tinkerbell. But yes, yeah, so this is our little hermit crab friend. All right, last but not least, we have winner, winner, chicken dinner, chicken dog snacks. They're made in the USA. They're wheat-free, corn-free, soy-free dog snacks. And first ingredient is chicken. Gross. Oh my goodness, I swear. It's like 90% of these videos are just me saying this is gross. Because you're awful. Yeah, you're awful. You gotta get back up here. Come on, back up, little one. Up, up, up. And 
these guys are actually long sticks. I don't I feel like of like one of those like beauty YouTubers be like, ooh. Um, it feels like you can break them in in parts, so I'm just gonna give a little bit to each dog to begin with, or you guys will be sitting here watching. If you want one, you have to come up here. She's pawing. Get back up here, come on. Niki, up. Sit. Hey, bye. Good girl. Here you go. Those they loved. So yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. But one of my favorite parts about bark boxes are the little linings on the inside. This is very comic strippy, and it has, which I'm guessing are a bunch of the other toys because I get the large size box. There are also toys. I have dog fur in my eyelashes. Um, there are smaller size box for smaller dogs and a bunch of different toys that come with that. So we have the Crab Van Goon and Sensei Whiskers. So here and here. It's super cute. I love that. Yes, we love BarkBox. If you want a BarkBox for your own pup, if you go to BarkBox.com slash TinkAndMeek or use code TinkAndMeek in checkout, you get a fun little either percentage off or a gift, things like that. It changes all of the time, but whenever you put in that code, you get a nice little free or percentage off, which is always nice. But if you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And I've been seeing all over YouTube that you're supposed to, yes, are you hitting subscribe? That you are supposed to click the bell icon as well if you want to see when we subs or upload. Miko, literally, you, you could just see fluff. Come here. So Miko right now, is shedding like a crazy person, which is why I keep getting um, fur all over. So I've brushed her, and you can see some of the stuff I've been brushing all over the place, but she is just shedding like a champ right now. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> that was a good goodbye. Can I have a goodbye from you too? Yay, bye.